three-point country. Sandy Garbier is one game away from winning the Commissioner's Cup for 2019. Amidst all issues not related to basketball, you tend to get distracted, but there's a championship game to be played here at the Big Dome. End or extend? Will San Miguel Beer clinch the Commissioner's Cup trophy sa araw na ito, or will TNT force a Game 7 on Sunday? From the Big Dome, I'm Charlie Kuna together with Dominic Uy, and they're ready to go at it. TNT Catropa, San Miguel Beer, Game number six ng ating final series dito sa Commissioner's Cup. And we're expecting fireworks sa laban ito. Well, the great thing about this series is it's just gotten better and better after each and every game. Mm -hmm. Paganda ng paganda yung mga laro. A lot more exciting. A lot more things to talk about both on and off the court. That's right. No, lots, of, lots of things to talk about. But even before this series started, ang isa sa pinakamalaking topic na pinag-uusapan, yung imports ng magkabi ng kubunan. Big time derby, sabi natin. Parang sabong lang din eh. Kasi ang kagaling nitong dalawang manok na ito. At kung nagaharap sila, dahil talagang ganda ng bakbaka nila. Chris McCullough, Darren Jones, legit NBA vets, first round picks, some young guys who have so much talent and they've showcased it in their own way sa ating mga laro. Well, you look at these two guys, obviously, top quality import. Silang best import itong si Terrence Jones, number two itong si Chris McCullough. And he's been really number two ever since. However, in that previous game, tignan mo naman yung ginawa itong si Chris McCullough. 19 points in the fourth quarter alone. That's when he turned things around and he wants to be able to get a championship away from Terrence Jones. Terrence Jones wants to be naman the first import for TNT to be both best import and win a title for TNT. So that's what these guys are batting for. Chris McCullough showed what he could do. He's leveling up to Terrence Jones. But I'm excited to see how Terrence Jones will bounce back from game number five. Well, we'll see. You know, we expect him to bounce back in a big way. Let's uh, immediately turn you over to our companion at courtside, Carla Lizardo. Come on in, Carla. Charlie and Dom, nakita natin lahat yung apology video ni Arwen Santos kay Terrence Jones on his social media accounts yesterday. But way before posting that video, early in the morning, he actually made the effort to call his teammates, guys like Matt Ganuelas Rosser and Chris Ross, to apologize to them as well. And his teammates acknowledged na importante talaga to pag-usapan. But for now, they have to be locked in as a team because they are gunning for that championship here in game number six. Of course, Arwen Santos was also summoned by Commissioner Willie Marshall to the PBA office, and he was fined 200,000 pesos and is required to do 100 hours of community service, and he also has to attend counseling for equality and racial discrimination. Just to emphasize the fact that there is no room for any of those antics here in the PBA or in the world of sports. Gentlemen? Well, you know, nakita natin on the screen, so what transpired just moments ago, Arwin Santos reaching out to Terrence Jones, but we'll see how that fares out sa ating laro. But uh, let's talk about uh, what happened doon sa huling laro natin in game number five. The beer men, in that fourth period, uh, Dom, they were down, double digits. But uh, parang lahat ng ginawa nila sa fourth quarter, tama. Well, you look at San Miguel, they're a team that starts out slow, but finishes really strong. And they did just that in the fourth quarter of game number five. They had 30 points in that fourth quarter. 26 points off turnovers, 28 bench points, and 30, yun nga, yung total na uh, kanilang fourth quarter points. And they held TNT to just 14, and they forced TNT into nine turnovers to the fourth quarter. Na yun. So you talk about a team that locks it in and knows what to do and gets the job done. San Miguel showed why they've got so many championships and why sila pa rin ang team to beat dito sa competition. Well, that's right, Dom. We'll turn it over now to our venue announcer. Starting lineups na po para sa game number six. Beerman! From Leyte, at guard number six, Chris Ross. Also at guard from Quezon City, number five, Alex Cabagnon. From Pinamulahan, Cebu, at center, number 15, Junmar Fajardo. At forward from Lucena, Quezon, number three, Juan Pesimal. And also at forward, number one, Chris McCullough. Head coach for the San Miguel Beerman is Leo Austria. And now the starters for the TNT Catrapa. Head guard from Guagua Pampanga, number 17, Jason Castro. 
from Talisa Cebu, head guard number 16, R.R. Pogoy. At center, number one, Terrence Jones. At forward, from Dororian Catanduanes, number six, Don Trolliano. And from Bicol, at forward, number 99, Yusuf Taha. Head coach for the TNT Contrapa is Fong Ravena. Our referees for the ball game are here on out. Sherman Benetta, Daxa Kanai, and Albert Nublau. This game is under the supervision and regulation of the Kings and the Mises. Ante mga starters, alaman ito, brought to us by front row for the red shirts of San Miguel Camacot and Roth in the backcourt. June Mar in the middle. Vaughn Pesumal and Chris McCullough on the flank. Kabilang panigman, nakaputi ang TNT katropa sa laban nito, Pogoy and Castro. Terrence Jones, Don Trolliano, and Yusuf Taha. And Yusuf Taha starting in this ball game again. Terrence, uh, uh, Troy, Ro Troy Rosario will be coming off the bench for the second straight game. Well, very important for Yusuf Taha to be able to defend a guy like Jumar Pahar, to be able to limit him. Because you know San Miguel likes to go into Jumar Pahar early. That's right. That's where they go right now. Ito ang ating first quarter. At din sa atin ang new Cobra Vitamin C. Lakas ang protection Cobra. Ang number one energy drink. Minti sa unang tira. I bothered him there. Yusuf Taha did on Jumar Pahar. So here's Jason Castro having a spectacular series. Numbers across the board. Pero minti din ang kanyang unang layup. Exchanging misses. Probably each team's best player on that first uh, play. You look at this series, Charlie, pag usapan natin, San Miguel has been trying to catch up ever since game number one. Diba, unang nanalo itong TNT. Even in ball games, San Miguel always trying to catch up. This is the first time they're, they're actually in the driver's seat, and they've won three games. So this is going to be key for San Miguel, how they will start out this ball game. They cannot go and play a little bit relaxed at the beginning of the game, because you know TNT is a team that wants to get back, especially a guy like Terrence Jones. Only three points in the fourth quarter. That's nangyari pa ngayon, yung incident so with Arwin Santos. For sure, he's going to use that as fuel to be able to bounce back and force a game number seven. Plus, eh, yun nga, lahat naman na sinasabi. Kung nagbata siya sa, ano bang nga napapalitaan siya. Everyone will agree he was outplayed by his counterpart sa game number five. And so, probably the first game that he was outplayed. And especially defensively in the fourth quarter. Kasi yung Chris Makala, di ba? Palitan sila ni Christian Stan Hardinger. Dito ay Terrence Jones. And speaking of a good start, para kay Terrence Jones, unang bukol niya. Mula sa three-point line. Nadid yan sa atin ang tres sa pasayad ng important brandy wala sa Espanya. And that's 3-0 on your board. And visibly, I felt visibly tired itong si Terrence Jones in game number five in that yeah. fourth quarter. Well, you need to talk about the fatigue factor ng mga TNT Katropa. Hindi ganun kalalim ang kanilang bench ng mga injured na players na hindi nakakapasok uh, throughout this series. And so heavy minutes, especially there was a double overtime game, if you recall, Dom. Kaya naman, eh, babat na babat niya yung core nila. So you have to wonder, on game six, how much do they have left in the time? Well, it's going to be key. It's going to be basically, pareho naman tong kumbara na tong pagod. A uh, little bit longer rotation for San Miguel. They go about eight. Itong TNT goes about six. When I say six, guys who really have minutes that will make a difference um, uh, on a longer note. No? So yun yung sinasabi natin. Pero itong San Miguel, you know, they're a little bit fresher and a lot more experience. Pero alam mo, hindi mo rin matatawaran kasi yung gusto makakuha ng kapo na to. Guys like Pogoy, guys like Troy Rosario, guys have not won a championship just yet. Tama yun eh. So, and didn't desire nila, no? Uh, problem is, you know, maybe the spirit is winning, maybe the body is not. We'll find out if this game goes on. Junmar got a nice shot off an offensive board a while ago. They force another miss. And San Miguel, magkakano, makuha ang lamang. Dito sa ating first half, nabigay kay Makala. And Pugoy able to stop that. But that's going to be a foul on our, our Pugoy, his first of the ball game. So just a side court inbound. Ang gagawin itong... Uh, Beerman, here's a tatag move brought to us by Rainer Shine at the floor, concrete floor paint. Affordable, odorless, and non-slip. Oh, that was a foul on Yusuf Taha, rather, on the shove. Naki Jun Mar na naman, nabangit ni Dom. They go to him early and often uh, in the first half and in the second half. Yan ang strategy ng San Miguel. Many times it works in this series. It has not worked as well. Uh, Hasn't went as, as good or as solid. <laughs> Well, five on the board for the DJ. This one was probably one of the easiest shots. Maokwanya, dito sa game na ito, open line to the basket, two-handed jab, a slip from Kabagnot, play resumes. That's a kick, and it's gonna head the other way. Charlie, parang naalala ko game one or game number three. Terence Jones had that same type of a dunk, and uh, you know he really wants to set 
the tone here in game number six. Nakaset agad ang depensa, nakadrive tuloy. Brought to us by United Auction Music, ang biggest auction company sa Pilipinas, ISO certified sa bidding, kawambida. Castro. Jones from three, he'll try another. This one rims out and Chris Ross soars in for the rebound. Four boards already. Para rito sa uh, San Miguel. One of the key statistics for both teams in this series has been second chance points. Remember, whenever TNT wins the ball games, madami silang offensive rebounds. Guys from uh, guys getting it are Troyano, Heruela, uh, even a Troy Rosario. Ito namang San Miguel, madaming offensive rebounds. Chris McCullough. Uh -huh. about these guys getting uh, extra possessions? Chris Ross getting taps and Junmar Fajardo as well. Si Junmar ngayon nasa linya. And Junmar, of course, although hindi siya yung dominante, the way we have known him to be, at any given time, he can start doing that. Ang tika, tikas ng bisdak natin, player profile na ito, brought to us by Red Horse Extra Strong, the number one strong beer. Ito ang tama. Parang si hindi Buk. ganun kasolid yung mga numbers Ay, niya. No? Seven-time PBA champion, five-time PBA MVP, Ay, walang, walang. and five-time PBA BPC. <laughs> ah, sorry. Not, not so Sinawara impressive. Ko, eight time BPC. Eight time BPC. <laughs> Grabe ka naman. Mali, diba? mali. Ano ka ba? Nagalit <laughs> yung mga Junmar uh, diehard dyan. Ha? May nagkamali tayo sa mga ganyan statistic. Five to four is our score. TJ again handing. And uh, another question. Uh, we were talking about the fatigue factor earlier, Dom. And, prep, you know, and more especially for a fellow like Terrence Jones, who 80% of the time, nasa kanya mo lang. You know, one thing uh, that you look at what San Miguel did defensively in game number five especially, is hindi na ganun kalibre yung mga three-point shots nitong uh, TNT. Because of the coverage, because of the defense, the primary defense na ginagawa ng San Miguel dito kay Terrence Jones, whether it's McCullough, whether it's Chris Ross, or whether it's Stan Harding. Stripped away mula kay Jones. Ito na naman ang San Miguel Beer. Pagkakataon, lumamang. Balik sila kay June Mar. Do-double si Pogoy. Natabik, pero nakuha ulit. Nice pass inside! Chris McCullough, quick reaction sa kanya pang tagap ng bola. Bullet pass to June Mar. Oh, Yusef Taha seems a little bit hurt there. Baka nung pag-ikot ni Junmar, natamaan siya. And we know how that can hurt you. No? There was a turn in one of those earlier games. Was it game number three? Pag-spin ni Junmar, nasiko niya sa may isik mura si Terry Jones. Jones. And he was oh. down for a while. Had to get his bearings back. That was game three or four. Oh, yun, laki kasi ni Junmar. He's got a lot of strength. Here's that move a while ago. Nawala na sa kanyang bola. Pumalik. Nashoot niya. Walang bibitaw move of the half. Hatid ng Castrol active para sa tuloy-tuloy na proteksyon ng inyong motorcyclo. Walang bibitaw sa Castrol. Well, they haven't really been paying much attention to Yusef Taha. So there's one game na maganda na maipakita ni Yusef Taha. You know, this guy can score. He's improved so much offensively. He just makes himself available. But he needs to stay away to, to these types of fouls. Yun na nga. Eh. So mukhang matatawagan na naman si Yusef doon. And you know, there's a dearth of uh, big guys who can really handle guys like June Mar inside the paint. Here's that be the move. Ang ganda kasi ng feed rin ni RR. Be the move brought to us by Davies. MCS semi-gloss. Matibid, colorful, semi-gloss. Junmar. Ross, they'll kick it to Vaughn. Vaughn, quick three. And that's a three para kay Tres Rumal. His first of the oh, game. Potentially the first of many. Three points out brought to us by Tres Sebas. I think important brandy from Fundador. You know, we, we talk about Terrence Romeo, we talk about Chris Ross, we talk about Alex Kamagnon, but Von Pesumal, he has been a stabilizing factor for San Miguel, especially at the start. Oh! He lost it on the way up. Siguradong takda. Rick excited na lahat ng San Miguel fans in the building, but Makal, that's happened before. Na? On the break, he lost the ball. Oh, and game now... number three, if I'm not mistaken. And there you go. On Kasi the way up. Sila nun, eh. Oy, nako. <laughs> Losing at last minute. And actually, based on that slow-mo, nakalapit na rin pala si Terrence Jones. Baka din may challenge, no? Kung dumakdak siya. Might not have been as easy as it looked if he had been able to go up with the, with the leather. The flip from Terrence Jones! Seven early para kay TJ. You want to be able to pressure Terrence Jones a little bit more for him to put down that ball on the floor early, meaning by the three points, nag-dribble na siya. Balik siya kay Pesumal, kick it out to Ross. Time pang oras sa shot clock ng Beerman. Troy Rosario is in the game. Siya naman ang susubo kay June Mart. Tandem sila ni Pogoy. Swing to Vaughn! And Vaughn was five inches too short para makuha yun. 
That's a turnover a while ago. Ito yung galaw ni Darren Jones. We call it the cool move brought to us by Panasonic. Quality air for life. Okay, also for TNT to be able to rotate their players a little bit quicker. I feel uh, Coach Mark Dickel and Coach Bong Ravenna will make a more conscious effort of that. Remember, early part of the conference, ang bilis ng ikot ng tao nila eh. But as they got further and further, umikli na umikli yung rotation. Another drive, agresibo ito si Dennis Jones at the first quarter. Went right on June Marfahado, drew a foul. Second team foul on the Bearman. Una pa lang ni June Marian. So nasa linya si Terrence Jones. And wow. You know, can't say enough about the poor free throw shooting ng TNT sa serye ito. Well, TNT is a team that you know has been relying largely on their three-point shooting. And the free throws haven't been all that kind to them. You know, 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 for those victories. So in the end game, the championship prowess and experience talaga ng Birme ang umiiral. The poise. You know, because really, pagdating sa end game, ano na yun eh, wala nang X and O's. That's just players reacting to plays and being able to do things that they've seen and that they understand what needs to be done. And that that's the experience. Hindi mo, hindi mo matatawaran yun eh, experience. Hindi mo rin maituturo yun. So foul ang kabagnot on the loose ball play. Shoving Eruela out of bounds. We're all tied up at 9. 544 remaining in the first timeout on the floor. Well, Jutmar Fajardo, no unang dalawang naro na ating serya, his numbers were down. But in the last three games, he's raised them. You know, but the, the, they aren't even at Jutmar levels yet. Pero yung contribution niya is readily apparent. They played much better when he plays. And when he raised his level, they've won two of their last three games. So that's how important Jutmar Fajardo oh, is. Because of that, it opens up and gives better looks to the three-point shooters of San Miguel. Pogoy, switching it from there. Lamang na naman ang TNT 11-9. Chris McCullough, jumper just inside the three-point line, bounces out. Bakbakan sa rebound. Jumar just overpowering three TNT Catropa players. Charlie reminds me of game number seven, last conference. And Jumar Fajardo didn't have too many points, but he was working really hard on the boards. He ended up with, what, 20-something rebounds in game 29 number seven. Yata, no? 29 oh. yata, yun eh. um, well, inamama niya yung iba mga players. He's just really a, a mountain of a man with such great timing and strength and positioning. But there are guys who are a mountain of a man. Oh. He's got great possession, uh, got great strength. Pero yung heart nitong si Jumar Fajardo and his determination. Oh, and his skill huge. level. His skill level at that size is the best we've ever seen. So, di ba? Dito sa Pilipinas. At yung work ethic kasi nitong si Jumar Fajardo. Eh. Plus yung attitude. Diba? And I know that's why eh, kahit yung mga inis na inis na sa, sa kanya dahil talo lagi yung teams nila. Eh, uh, si coach team ko nga unang inis dyan. Oh, di ba? Pero, <laughs> but you can't, you know. Pero kasi, kasi na, na, saka si Bo, Belga, inis na inis si Bo dyan kasi napakagaling. Ayun na nga. Napakabait pa. Oo. Oh, Hindi pa nang gireklamo. Oh, eh, diba? Another stop from San Miguel Beer. Again, trying to take that lead. Outside shot. Bounces high. Peso Mal! Fighting for the rebound. Out positioning itong si R.R. Pogoy at sa kanyang pag-follow-up. He was fouled on the way up. So you gotta find possession for possession, especially the small guys. You gotta be able to try and get those oh. rebounds. That, that could have gone either way during the rebound sequence. Na yon. And Pogoy may have had a valid uh, claim there, na hindi siya. But the call has been made as a foul on RR, his first. At ano ah, lima na yung. Uh, Team fouls nitong TNT. Just under five minutes remaining sa the first period, so... Penalty na. That's right. Baka gamitin na San Miguel ito to their advantage. We will see. Terrence Romeo against Brian Aruela. The trade happens. Silang dalawa ang nagpalit ng kanyang kanyang kumpunan. And that's a miss sa kanyang unang uh, pagsubok mula dyan sa labas. Jason Castro, isa pang inaasahan ni Coach Mark Degel at ni Bong Ravs. 
na hindi pa nag-aahit dito, nasa game 6 tayo. <laughs> ano ba, hanggang mag-jack yun? Ngayon, tingnan natin. Terrence, taking a 3 once again, ala Bo Belga. Troy, first attempt from out there is too strong. And Chris Ross, one of the best rebounding guards, Gil goes over to McCullough. Oh, but he was too fast for his own good. And he did it enough again. He did it enough again, it's Terrence Jones. Castro jumper from 16. Bounces out. Bagsak si Aruela. Tuloy pa rin na ating laro. No whistle. Red shirts slow to come up the floor. Castro. Nagsakribisyo ng isang personal foul. Look at Terrence Jones and Chris McCullough. It's like they're dancing. Binabox out na. Itong si Terrence Jones agad. Pinararamdaman niya eh na alam mo eh. Nagmintis ka at nawala sa'yo yung bola kanina. We'll call that a lakas move sa inyo. Sa atin, sa atin ng new Cobra Vitamin C. Lakas at proteksyon. Cobra, number one energy drink. You like to chase down from Terrence Jones. And you're obviously his footsteps. You know, narinig dito si Chris Bacala. Terrence Romeo, nakahisa na mula sa linya. Quadro, uno ang nasa scoreboard natin. 11 to 11. And the crowd reacting to the insertion into the game of this guy. Arwin Santos, former MVP. Well, he's going to hear it from the crowd. For sure. For sure. You know, it's very important that Arwin is be able to block that out and right. really try to focus and win this ball game for them. We know that. So, he's heard that before. Maybe not the same chance sa gabi ito, pero he's been around. Teruela, he's going to get Jones. He's going to get a defense and he's going to stand here, but he knocks him down. And see, and that's, that's what I was saying. There's been too many of those extra movements pagtapos na mga pito ng referee throughout this series. And that's one of the matters we were alluding or referring to when we said things happening on and off the court or even on the court during that balls, you know? Well, both these teams, obviously, alam mo, di mo matatawaran. Both teams want to be able to win. This is that play, Darren's Jones falling down. That's the foul. That's the foul on Christian Stan Hardinger. And nakita ng mga referees doon na naapakan yeah. itong si oh, Terrence Jones. Oh, so the question them. is, ano ba ang interpretation? Sinadya ba yun o oh, hindi? So referee immediately nagbigay ng technical. Panoorin natin ito, yung uh, left foot ni Stan Harding, right? On the arm, doon ito si Terrence Jones. And, uh, oh, you know. 34, Christian Stan Harding. Technical foul on Christian Stan Harding. A foul and a technical on Christian Stan Harding. And ito na naman. And you see, you can hear it from the crowd. And, uh, you know, because... Walang ina-argue ni Christian Stan Hardinger. He was off balance. Diba? Na hindi, na hindi niya sinasadyang naapakan. Pero ang nakita ng mga referees, naapakan mo eh. So I think, when, if you cannot decipher the intention, then that's a good call that you give a technical foul because of second motion. And the technical foul, free throw, Eh, hey, pumasok na. Tuloy pa rin ang kanyang uh, pag-argumento sa ating mga referees, but the free throw has already been made. So, you know, these are things that, you know, we, everyone's been saying, you know, on social media and otherwise, just, you know, just let everything shrug it off and then move on already. Game number six. Alam mo kasi ang ganda nung laro, ang ganda nung laban. You know, highly competitive, both teams, and nobody just wanting to give up and lose. And this has been one of the best uh, series in a while. Yeah, in, in terms of mataasan yung score, iba iba yung serie, obviously. Well, it's a shame if people, uh, you know, will remember yung serie na ito hindi dahil sa basketball. Mm -hmm. Correct. Because there's been a lot of great basketball we've been seeing here. They're gonna call an offensive foul on Troy Rosario. Moving screen daw. Was it the moving screen of Troy? That's right. Sa pag drive ni Terrence Jones, he was trying to clear the path para sa kanyang import si, si Troy. You know, uh, he bumped into Chris McCullough. That's a good call by the referees. Mark Dickel now warning na naman ngayon for resentment to a call. Active team consultant coach Mark Dickel. I think understatement yun eh. Very active. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, yeah, it's not the first time we've seen that uh, uh, sa ating liga. Parang pa ni The Run. Doon na yun eh. Outside shot rolls out. The back of the rebound. White shirt to the Hawaiian. Imports bring up the rear on this sequence. So go in transition. Hesitation of the class. Drops in. Para kayo. Oh, Terrence Jones. Look at him. 
he is giving his 100%. I mean, he's pressuring McCullough. He's making him try to get the ball way higher. Another miss mula kay McCullough, pero nakuha niya ulit. Good luck. Good para sa kanya. And I was looking at the bench of DNT. So a uh, couple of players ready to check in. One of them is, is David Semerat, which suddenly I just remembered. Doon ba? Parang nakalimutan ko rin. Ang laking bagay ni Anthony Semerat. Ang baka wala ni Anthony yes. Semerat. Yes, actually si Ryan Reyes. Yes. Yeah. Both guys can knock down threes. Both guys can play multiple positions defensively. Yun. And get a lot of offensive rebounds. And they're both tough. Yes. They're both tough. Timeout, TNT Catropa. TNT Catropa calls the timeout. Tabla had the score 14 all. The last timeout, they were tied as well. So that's how close this game has been. 2.28 remaining. Dito sa una. Balik Saxon dito sa game number 6. San Miguel Beer. Ang may possession ng ating uh, bola is a 14 all score. Looking to lead once again. Chris McCullough. Too strong. <laughs> That's what Stan Hardy is saying. And I, I got good hands, man. But wag naman ganun kalakas. <laughs> Katabi lang tayo eh. <laughs> Charlie, both teams with only one three-point shot made so far. And now Terrence Jones after a very short rest. Ibinalik na agad ng kanyang coaching staff. Well, David Semerad, congratulations. New father. Daddy O, na. Oh, Daddy, Daddy O, o si David Semerad. Kahapon lang daw uh, yes. sa ating uh, balita, no? So, well, bala na muna si Mami dahil game muna. Oo. Oh. Diba? That's gonna be a foul on San Miguel Beer. Terrence Romeo, we're at the two-minute mark of the first period. And parang dami nang nangyari. Ang, ang haba nitong first quarter na natin. Plus, plus, you know, Para lang malaman nung uh, mga nanonood sa atin ngayon. Parang may problema yata ang air conditioning dito sa Araneta Coliseum. At, uh, so, mainit na ang laro. Eh, napakainit pa dito sa, sa loob ng Big Dome right now. So, Pero pag mainit, itong si Roger Pogoy, Ayun. panalo itong TNT. 22 yeah. points in wins, only 13 points in losses. You look at the field goals, you look at the three-point field goals, especially 41% as compared to just 36. And the rebounding for Roger Pogoy. When he plays well, Malamang sa malamang, panalo itong That's right. His best game was in game number three. He scored 29 points. We named him the best player of that ball game. He was hitting from the outside, particularly in the fourth period. And uh, so merong ganung potential si RR Pogoy, you know, in every game to explode that way. At yun ang inaantay ng kanyang opponent. They need it today because there's no tomorrow para sa TNT if they don't get this victory. And you know, what you like what uh, the coaching staff of TNT is doing here. Pinapahinga nila ng maaga itong si Terrence Jones. They want to, to be able to, him to be able to last all the way up to the fourth quarter, all the way to the end. Not just play, but make a difference in the fourth quarter. You know, to see Chris McCullough has been overshadowed by, of course, Terrence Jones. Uh, you talk about the players, but wow, you know, iba yung performance nitong player na ito. As we show you, the player profile brought to us by Red Horse Extra Strong, number one strong beer. Ito ang tama. What a game five he had. You know, he, he just took over. He did not want to lose. He did not want to go down again. Itong si Chris McCullough. Doon niya pinakita. Nga, the time that he was, he really outplayed itong si Terrence Jones, not just offensively, but defensively. David Semerat, tinapik yung bola palabas. San Miguel pa rin ang may possession. Arwin Santos with the ball. Nakabantay sa kanya, Jay Wash. Here's McCullough against Trolliano. Makulit, pero ang lead kung pala kay McCullough. Wow! Wow! Yes. Degree of difficulty was high. He made it anyway. And this is what you want if you're TNT. You're able to rest your import, but just keep the game close. Down by one, Trolliano. Ganda ng niya, laro niya, especially the first four games. Numbers went down, game number five. Here comes San Miguel once again. Minute and 14 remaining. Crossing over. Ross, outside to Arvin. He'll let it fly. Maduli sa tira, kasi sila pa rin nakakuha ng rebound. Eight points now for the SMB import. And notice the, the, the shots that he's taking. Difficult, but at the same time, able to make it. Nung naupo din itong si Terrence Jones. Siyempre, mas madali yung mga tira na naibibigay sa kanya. Trolliano the spin. 
kicked it out, but Kasani Nabundanji, referee Sir Win Pineda, who would have nothing to do with that play. Well, Check this one out, pa baseline, Natula, Initcha, Pasok, champion energy move of the half brought to us by Milo. Energy to build champions. And then he followed it up with that three pointer. So eight points nga gaya nabinang get mo a while ago. Para sa eight of the 20, and they're up by four with 38 seconds remaining in quarter one. Terrence. Atatawagan ni referee Peter Balao ng foul si RR Pugoy, which will be his second already. His second person. They may be forced to sit down RR Pugoy here the last 34.9 seconds yeah. of the first quarter. It yeah, looks like they, they will. Ay, hindi. Pinaupulit. Parang papapasukin na sana si Brian Arwella. Ayun, tutuloy nga si Brian Arwella to the official table. Terrence Romeo, well, he hasn't really been slow coming along, but he's picked his spots, scores in games he has to, orchestrates in others. Finding a place dito sa rotation ng San Miguel Beer. You know, the two games that he played well, panalo itong uh, San Niguel Beer. I'm going to say well, grabe. He scores <laughs> 29 points and 22 points. That's game two well, and game number five. He's, only, he's the only local who has been a best player para sa SMB because the two other wins, it was Chris McCollum. And Charlie, you look at... He is the guy that ends the ball games. So ganun siya pinagkakatiwalaan ito sa San Miguel. Jason Castro sumagot naman. So run ng San Miguel Beer, hit that three to cut it down to three. The time remaining, para San Miguel na yan. Will they increase this lead? Or will it be just three? Bago matapos ang ating quarter. We'll know in seven. Cabangor takes it right back. Pinawin na ang press ni Alex Cabangor. Pero may oras pa ang But the quickest guy in the league was going to take it down, but they're going to call an offensive foul on David Semeron. I'd like to see that. He now, oh, he now oh, the front oh, court. Eh. The front court eh. Oh, that wasn't on David Semeron. It was the slap. The Ginoani Terrence Jones. And Stan Hardinger, ang ganda ng performance niya defensively. That ball but the there, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, that's what you do. Oh. It's really been, really, they're trying to get, I, I don't see Terrence Jones out of his ball game. Oh, and, and that's a foul at the buzzer. Almost, well, three tenths of a second. And Jason Kaffler livid. He ran straight for referee oh, Dahanay. And he'll probably be warned. As well, as we see. Let's watch it. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. So the ref missed it. Yeah. Eto, eh. Ito yung sinasabi. He missed it. Yeah, no? Wala. That was a... For Phantom that's Corner... Why you, that's why you understand the reaction nitong si Jason yeah, Castro. Yeah. yeah, he knew, he knew he did. He, he got nothing but air. No, but then, you know, it, it's... it's it will happen. You know, it's, and it's crystal it, clear 2020 when we're seeing it. Oh, on, and it will happen. The, the referees replay. will miss a call or will make a call uh, and then na, na walang tinamaan. That will happen. The key for TNT is to be able to get over this. To be able to take control of their emotions. Oh, they don't even have to do anything here. Point three. You can't. There's not enough time. So that it ends. Quarter number one. San Miguel won a run. 26 to 19. They were down early. Strong start para sa TNT unit. Bumawi naman ang San Miguel Beer, man. Bucking the strong start of Terrence Jones. Stabilizing itself. Bago natapos ang quarter one. Chris McCullough with eight points in the first. Terrence Romeo's come off the bench to hit a J. And the San Miguel Beer, man, up by seven. Second quarter has begun. Dito sa Smart Araneta Coliseum. TNT missing immediately. Second quarter brought to us by New Cobra Vitamin C. Lakasas Protection. Cobra, the number one energy drink. Seven point spread in favor of the beer man. Chris McCullough fading. Swak na naman para sa kanya. He is doing a good job of extricating himself from the defense to get better looks. And when I say extricating himself, 
Hindi siya yung may hawak ng bola. He's moving well without that basketball. Siyam na pundos na para sa import ng San Miguel Beermen. At ang lamang, siyam na rin. Para sa San Miguel, eto na si Terrence Jones. Didi Scarpe. Hooks it over to Don. And to Troy. Troy's free! Pasok na yeah, para kay Rosario. Alexander ng tres sepa slide ang imported brandy from Spain. Charlie, 12 points coming from second chance points itong na San Miguel. Three, rather eight offensive rebounds. So 12 of their 26 na galing sa offensive rebounds. Well, that's, that's hard work, you can see. It, it, it's it bearing fruit para sa kanila. Nice pass from Terrence inside the C stand. Terrence Jones threw that one away. Reach in for Castro. And that's another personal contra kay the blur. They need re really to take control of their emotions. I feel they're worrying too much about the calls or the non calls of the referees. Check out that beat a move brought to us by Davis MCS semi gloss. Matipid colorful at semi gloss. At may ulat para sa atin si Carla Lizardo. Sa huling huddle ng TNT, Coach Mark Dickel reminded the team, don't focus on the calls. We can't focus on the things that we can't control. Settle down our emotions and keep on playing. Si Terence Jones rin, motivating teammates niya, reminding them if we lose today, we don't play basketball tomorrow. If we lose today, we will lose everything. Gentlemen? Well, that's true. Problem is, somebody lost this man. Don't complain na yun. At ang basket naman, si C-Stand. I don't know what really got into him. He's taking it to heart now. Once I am with Terrence Jones, nakasut ng yun. Did he get the nyan against Terrence Jones? And he's, you know, he's just there, sticking like glue. Full court pressure. So, tawag jan. Naginagawa nito si Christian Stan Harding. Nakakainis talaga yun. Kakasut lang, and then he depends on ka right away. Up in your face, Stan Harding with the two points. We'll be back. TND down 10 with 10 minutes and 15 remaining in the first half. Jason Castro already nursing a bunch of fouls, but they're keeping him, keep, keeping him in there because they need his leadership. But Sakti Terrence Jones away from the ball. Nagatawa ka ng foul. Si Christian Stan Hardinger, pangalawa na eh. Ni CS yan. Oh, he's all fired up. He's all intense. He played 15 minutes in game number five. Seven and a half minutes in uh, the fourth quarter. And he really did a great job against Terrence Jones. Terrence Jones only three points in the fourth. Talagang pinakita niya yung husay niya sa depensa. You know, he's not really known to be a great defensive player, but his aggressiveness uh, was really key. No, doon sa fourth quarter niya, pinahirapan niya si Terrence Jones. Who looked Alam really fatigued. Ano, Charlie, I just realized how big a factor also yung sahig. Because the air conditioning system in the Smart Arnetta Coliseum is, are, is having issues. It's on the blink, yeah. Oh. Parang ka naglalaro sa out of town yan. So that means, puto lang yung sahig. That's right, yung moisture eh, medyo kailangan punasan from time to time. Yung mga map men natin, over time ang trabaho ng nila ngayon. No? Sinatawag sila ng ating mga referees just so everyone's safe. Oh, TJ! Follow up, don't miss. Emphatically slamming it through. At alam mo, pagkaganyan din, Charlie, mas nakakapagod ah, ganyang kainin. Kasi you sweat more, and you know, you lose more uh, sweat, and you'll have to, you know, mahirap, madaling maging dehydrated agad. Well, si Christian Stanhardy, yung mukhang bigay na bigay talaga rito. Nakabasket na naman siya. So he's not doing it just on defense. He's scoring as well, and that's a big problem para sa TNT. Trini Castro malayo. Bakbakan sa rebounds, bago yung nakakuha niyan. Troy, another. Ayo pa rin. Terrence Romeo comes down with the leather. Looking to add on to this lead. San Miguel Beer. Nine minutes, 16 remaining sa ating second quarter. Looking for the second trophy of the season. And uh, trying to keep their Grand Slam hopes alive are the San Miguel Beermen. And this is what they missed, if you remember, last season. Ito yung namin, namiss nila na kampionato. Oh, look at that spin mula kay Pogoy. All the way siya. Hindi lang na makompleto talaga. It's a rebound play. McCullough, matatawagan ng Perfinale. Knocks uh, R.R. Pogoy to the ground. 
His first. Check out this sequence over here, the path to Stan Hardinger, and he's our most improved player of the game, brought, uh, brought to us by Appleton. Castro, ni Alex Kabaknot. Goes around that screen, the double comes, kicks to the corner, Troy will try again. One out of three, mula sa kantong yan, at sa rebound play, Don Trolliano ang huling nakatapik. And the shots just aren't falling. Well, they're getting open. Looks. So Ayaw. It's been difficult uh, for TNT in the first quarter. Shot. They only shot 30% from the field. San Artiger missing. Rebound taken by Castro. Nakay Trolliano. Trolliano cross court to Pugoy. Decides not to take it. Didn't force it up. They go to Troy. On the reverse. Nakuha na. Didn't Troy Rosario yan. They'll really need to be able to move that ball a lot better, get some layups, and slowly chip down on this lead of San Miguel, which stands at eight. Kabaknot on the move. Ayo, there's a rebound play. We look at the referee jumping right in between Stan Hardinger and Jones, who were both on the floor, on the hard court. Eh, baka maka-extra motion na naman dyan. Eh, sumingit oh. na agad si Peter Balao. Alam mo, Terrence Jones, ha, nagpapasab. Dito sa TNT, very few times that you see that. Yeah, I think there's a, there's a bit of frustration as well. No? Uh, shots are falling. Oh, there's, no, there's a lot of fatigue, but a little bit of frustration. But this early. So I think he's also really trying to pace himself. But siguro learning na rin mula dun sa game number five. Kung saan... Kung mo siguro, baba ng energy uh, level niya noong fourth quarter. You know, and remember, because the aircon in the Smart yeah. Atlanta Coliseum uh, is having issues, mas, mas, mas malakas yung pawis mo. You know, kung out of town game, kung dito sa Metro Manila, mga laban, ay eh, alam mo, kahit pa paano, malamig yung venue, yes. di ba? But not today, not tonight, uh, dito sa loob ng Big Dog. I mean, everybody's finding themselves and in fact, the uh, cheer of the crowd a while ago wasn't for TNT, it wasn't for SMB, but they, they were saying air con. Oh, look at that. Everyone touched the ball on that play. open man at the corner. Kabagi hitting. Another three brought to us by Tres Epos Knight. Important brandy from Fundador. Quick ball movement by San Miguel, resulting into another wide open three. Oh, you know, you, you see some hesitation on the part of TNT, and then they throw it away once again. A good hand by Arvin Santos getting into the passing lane, getting a tip on that ball. Strong start for TNT, the but they seem to have lost it somewhere. Some get na, kalag it na ano first period. And they have yet to recover. Missing the finger road, Jude Mar Fajardo. Pagkakataon ng TNT, try to get a quick one, pero reach in from Kabagnot para mapigilan na rin yung fast break ng TNT. Charlie, usually itong TNT, kapag umupo, or nagpahinga itong si Terrence Jones. The guy who takes over offensively is Jason Castro. But Jason Castro, you gotta remember, also a problem with three personal fouls, so hasn't been able to really get his game going. There is your score, Julio Sarri. Yeah, so, I thought it was going to be a problem, because Yusuf Taha has said, Terrence Jones just checked back in, he's going to be a good one, but, you know, if you if get straight and through from that angle, top of the key, it can really happen, and you'll bang it in. And the bank is open yep. on a Friday night. Lead <laughs> down to eight, Kabawi sana si Makala, nothing there, tapika ng bola, Taha, last touch. So it won't cross the timeline yet. Dito muna sa panig ng San Miguel Beer, mananatili ang bola at ang mag Chris Ross. Papagdod just hit one a while ago, flipped it up with his right hand, not in there, but Chris Ross is staying with it. At nakuha niya yun. And you know, TNT has been bothered by calls, non-calls, and there, you see them paying, chirping at the referees, though. Paying a little bit too much attention to the referees, I Yeah, think. yeah. I mean, end of the day, wala ka na magagawa dyan. You just gotta play through it. Another? Di ba maasok para kay DJ sa play na yun. Ta-transition basket sana si Romeo, pero andun si Castro. So they go to Junmar. Double is coming. 
There's Bogoy. They got him trapped. Makola. Almost a five second violation yeah. on Jibar there. But open is Kabakon. Midden of Dira rebound from Liano. And Trolliano, after a couple of games of this season, is averaging more than 10 a game. Oh, look at a fake! I'm going to have a little fake back to Bogoy. And look at the defender got it to go. Oh, they need to climb this through. The locals, Bogoy, Castro, Trolliano. These are the guys that will need to score, be able to help Terrence Jones rest. Romeo jumper off the glass. And they don't know what No, they're looking at the referees and they're asking, "Why did they take away that?" Because they backed up the RR Bogoy in the play. That was. Anyway, that's why. We always say that uh, the in general, you know, are really emotional uh, events. Yeah. Because you, you you train so hard, you want to yeah. win, and you put so much into it. Right? Exactly, it's your whole life. And you fake, oi! Napuhan yah, but after that, Napuhan yah nandiyan on the other side. Terence Romeo, there's that slight shove that they were complaining about, got it to go off the glass, and something else still up here in quarter number two. a double digit lead for the beer man here in the second quarter 41 to 31. Commissioner Marcel in the house. The other gentleman along Commissioner's row. Terrence Romeo wants a three but it's wide left and Vakala keeps it alive. Throw it to the wrong guy however. Pogoy has Aruela on one side and Aruela trying to go for it all the way. Bagsak si Pogoy at me said yes the possible playground. Well, that call by the referees. They want to make sure. Yeah, yeah. Two former FEU Tamaraos got tangled up in transition. But Saksi Pogoy, pinulot na rin naman ni Chris Ross. They want to make sure, Charlie, kasi alam mo, pinakamahirap niyan, yung off a turnover, then haabuli ng referee pagbaba. Di ba ang hirap gawin ng call na yun eh? So they made that call, make sure that nothing will escape them. And if it's just a regular foul, it's a regular foul. That's right. So referee Pineda is the one at the uh, monitor. Ang dire-review na niya, tatawid na siya para masabihin si Mac Mac na ating venue announcer kung ano ba talaga ang nangyari sa play na yun. And as we wait for that, you know, we look at Terrence Romeo and the role that he's playing. They're gonna call it a regular foul. So buti na rin yung sigurado. Tinalabas na rin si Terrence Romeo ng tuluyan. Pinasok na si Von Pesumal once again. Who hit a three-pointer early in the game. Started out this game and knocked down a three in the first few minutes of the game. Who's really earned his spot in oh, the rotation? Yeah, definitely. Alam mo, sila ni Terrence Romeo, because of how they've been playing, they're not feeling as hard yung injury dito kay Marshall Lassiter. They see the short hook, RR Pogoy at the... That scramble for the loose ball. Nag-reachin pa si RR Pogoy, called for the foul. You know, there again, there was some color after the play, after the whistle had sounded. Yung mga ayaw magbitawan ng konti, nakasabitan yung yung mga braso, and, and, you know, and that's been going on, and we expect that to keep going on until this series is over. Trolliano once again, habantay kay Makola. Oh, he throws it away, nasa backcourt na yan. But pag hinawakan, hindi na niya pinay, uh, hindi na niya hinapol. Alam na niya na either way, turnover na. Hindi na siya nag-effort. So that's a turnover on their part. And Ruff now has words for the referee. Well, very important to be able to get Terrence Jones back into the groove of things offensively. That's right. Kasi ang ganda ng kanyang umpisa, no? Seven early points para sa kanya. But actually, the offense of TNT as a whole has really bogged down here in the second quarter. Have really scored much, yeah. Yeah. And too strong na naman ang Dira. You don't Trolliano, that was an air ball from him. Haven't gotten too many fast break points. Haven't gotten too many open looks from the three-point area. But just nothing. They're not clicking on both sides of the floor. And now they will call an offensive foul. Contra sa San Miguel Beer. Is it going to be Junmar? Let's see. Oh, Chris Ross. His first personal. And not too much protest after that as he heads back down on defense. But what did He's going to be warding off. Oh, yeah. He's going to be warding off. 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 He's going to be warding off.
Matic na yan. Ito na ang TNT. Nagahabol. Sampo ang lamang ng kanilang kalaban. Eruela to the post. Karen Jones against McCullough. Import versus import. Tapos June Mark tutulong sana. They almost threw it away. Able to save it. It was the quickest guy in the league. Shot clock. Down to four. Eruela. Trying to make something happen. Nice pass to Castro. Just couldn't make it. They get it again. One more time for Jason. Ayaw pa rin talaga. They've been getting okay looks at yeah, yeah. your TNT. Decided to bring it down. Why is there the issue? Alam mo, Charlie, Ramdam mo, both teams a little bit winded. Yeah. Uh, a little bit winded. And it's not just because of today, it's because the series has extended to six. That, and again, you air conditioning yeah, yeah. issue. No aircon in a hot, intense game. Bunch of people as well. The crowd is thick. So there's lots of heat inside this. Venue right now. Si Chris Rosa transition. Nakalayap na naman. At lumobo na. So labing apat ang lamang ng San Miguel Beer. That is the uh, largest lead of the game so far for either team. Two minutes and 49 remaining as this first half drags along. And here's that pass inside. It's a lakas move. At it's atin. Ang new Cobra vitamin C. Lakas at protection. Cobra number one energy drink. And hindi nga pinilit i-alloyup na yun kasi nakita niya, nilint ang kalaban. Wala namang malapit na mas malaki. And then Chris Ross using the left para sa layup na yun. Charlie, so far, has been a 19-12 quarter for the San Miguel Beerman. And you look at these teams, you know, when you keep the score slow, mas advantage dito ang San Miguel. But then we have been told that the lowest uh, first half output of TNT so far has been 45 points in game number two. In the At first half. Na na, in the first half. At sino ang nanalo nun? Yun ang nga. You know, so, yeah, but TNT, it's early still, second quarter, but uh, they just look out of sync and don't seem to be playing as though they're, they're confident, dependent on the it. Wall. Yeah, yes. exactly. There, alam mo, yung uh, tinatawag na magic bunot yeah. could be key in today's ball game. They might, they may gamble and try to find somebody as a, has a lot of energy and just basically make you know a few big plays, turn things around. At ngayon, may backward pressure pa ng kaunti ito San Miguel Beer. At dun mo rin namimiss kasi guys like Semerad, guys like Ryan Reyes. These guys can do that. That's yeah, tough. You know, Kelly Williams has been out for some time as well. Another guy who could help them with championship experience and veteran leadership. Eruela, hindi na naman makapasok ng outside shot. And we've seen this before, you know, that they just can't make anything. They haven't lost too many times in this conference, TNT, but every time they've lost, there's been a problem shot making and not entirely caused by the defense of the opponent. May araw na ganun eh, hindi ka makasun sa labas. Yeah, no? It's one of those days for TNT. Wow, that's RR Pogoy. One of the best, you know, when he gets it going. And that, was, that wasn't even close. Short and right. Hey, na kay Makala. Papasok kay Junmar. Naka... Istorbo naman ang bola ito. Hindi naman ito naman ang basa ni TJ. At nilayap na. Dropping it in transition. Troy Rosario. TNT. You can even say lucky to be done by just 12. Considering yung shooting hole na naranasin na rito sa second quarter. It's been tough to get points. This is good defense by R. Good help defense. And Terrence Jones finding Troy Rosario. They're, they'll need that effort. Guys will run down that floor, get easier looks, get open baskets, get layups. Seems like the energy level of TNT not at the bar. And if you're going up against San Miguel, you really got to be able to bring it. We need to mention, though, your pass on Terrence Jones. And let's, let's give it some credit. A great pass to Troy. Now off the bench in Karunga last time for game five today as well. First four games, he was starting 21.3 points. Amazing field goal shooting in this setting of a, of a finals. Diba? Tapos yung three points siya, 40 plus then. I mean, numbers went down last game, but you really can't blame anything on, on Troy Rosario. The way he's been playing, what a threat he's had in these playoffs. Oh, he, he's bringing it every game if you look at Troy Rosario. Hindi naman ganun kalayo yung mga numbers niya, diba? All throughout, he's, been, he's definitely playing his role to the hill. But they're going to need a collective effort for TNT. So guess who's in the ball game for these last 155? Ryan Reyes, who's subukan na ng TNT coaches 
see if he can contribute no, in any way. He's been out for some time. So may pa yata problema, no? I'm not exactly sure which part. But uh, we're good to see him back on the court. Kabagdo dropping into Christian Super Bowl. Detroit. Now hey Jason. Troy nasa may kanan, but McCullough was there to patrol the middle. Pinantay na nila si Terrence Jones. A very few times nakikita mo si Terrence Jones kumukuha ng bola doon sa may banda taas, ha? Jones asking for it. Hindi ka mabigay sa kanya. Finally, came out to get it. Down to eight of the shot clock. A six-second shot clock. Kill spin. Kick into the corner. Troy for three. Ayaw na naman! Even if that did not go in, that was a classic PNT play. That's right. You like that. That's within rhythm. That's within the system. That's within what they're comfortable in. Ayaw lang talaga. Oh. Oh, look, you know, then, uh, Troy Rosario was open for that. Good setup. Approaching the last minute of this first half, McCullough. Good okay, interference. Okay, the defense of PNT, huh? Yeah. Mahabu ba ba? Go boy! Got it! But tapped it to the wrong guy and went over. That corner on the side. Dere dere shot. Dito kay Doctora Pai Icardo. Of course, Doctora Pai, the PBA doctor in the house. Terence Jones, that's the second goal. personal. Yeah. That's the look at R R is gonna go straight to Doctora. That's Doctora Pai. Almost, almost. Buti na kaiwas. And there's a whistle oh, of Stan Harding. Oh, Stan Harding, everyone. And that's the thing, you know, when we have those big screens upstairs, every player wants to review it. And it points and looks up and says to the referee, Sting na nyo, ting na nyo. And look at the reaction of Terrence Jones. He wants Stan Hardinger to get into early foul trouble. He wants trouble. him out. He wants him out. Doesn't want him anywhere near. Oh. Because it's a bit of a bit of a bit of a bit of a Terrence Jones. Eh. The defense is focused on you. And now you have a big guy who's heavy as well. Defending you basically. Leech-like defense ang ginagawa nito si Stan Hardinger. The two of them are in San Miguel. 34 seconds na lang. Dito sa second quarter. Jones, Stan Hardinger na naman. Swing to Castro. The three is way off. The boy kept it alive. Fighting all by himself. For the layup. Oh, I am hard to go. Just when it seemed... Gave up on that play. He did it. Well, these are the things that you want to do. If you're RR Pogoy, you're a guy who hasn't won a championship yet. You want to be able to really work yourself into this and make those big plays. Tabagdot. Muntik na naman dumulak doon. Hindi na traveling sa Miguel Biren. Buha ito na nga mangyayari. And they're slipping. You can see. There's moisture on the, the surface, oh. yeah. Because it's like we're playing in one of those out-of-town venues where there's a lot of humidity and then... And the sweat of the players are going on the floor at all different points. So, pati yung mga mapman, yung mga mapman naman, pwede lang yung mag-map pagka nag-stop yung game, eh, pagka may foul, pagka may dead ball. 1.1. Baka makahirit pa TNT, ala Christian Leitner, no! They didn't get the catch. No attempt at a turnaround, and they're gonna let the TNT guys head to the dugouts first, followed by the beer man. And the beer man have played splendidly, have held off the TNT squad that needs to win. Sa araw na ito. SMP doesn't want the game seven. Chris McCullough, he's our beat player of the half, brought to us by Firefly LED. Kasama mo, he's got 14 and 7 already with two blocks after 24 minutes. Difficult shots, easy shots, step backs, fadeaways, and all of that. Nagawa na ni Chris McCullough rito. He's outplaying Terrence Jones overall so far. But there's a full half remaining sa laban na ito. Strategizing, planning ang gagawin ng mga coaches at the half. And we're going to have Carla Lizardo for the halftime show. Tapos ang aking partner si Dominic Uy. At ako naman ay magbabalik para sa second half of action dito sa ESPN5. Our score at the half, 45 to 35. Sampo ang lamang ng San Miguel Beerman. Sinan natin natin mga numero doon. Oh, definitely the numbers for TNT not working for them. Look at the three-point attempts. Four of 25. Four of 12 for San Miguel. That's about right for them. Look at the field goals, 38% for San Miguel, only 29% for TNT. Look at the rebounds, 35% for San Miguel, that's huge. 
And yung fast break points, 8 para dito sa TNT ka drop ako. Wala yung fast break points, 7 para sa TNT. Mas malaki itong kalamangan, or lamang rather, ng San Miguel. That's right. It's third quarter action brought to us by New Cobra Vitamin C, Lakas at Protection. Cobra, number one energy drink. Under to Troy. You try again. And what? they're saying the first one should have counted. Oh, Actually, from our angle, board. it looked, oh, yeah, it looked like that's what, that's what it should have been. Kung saan na kami nakapwave to rito ni Dominic. Uh, parang kumapit na yung uh, reverse ni Troy bago pinalo. Yun, no? Kumama na, yun, no? And then that was a clear goal ten right there, but not called. And, uh... Pwede ba ibigay yun? Sa replay? Pwede. Pero parang ako may free throw. Parang ako pumasok yung free throw. Did... Four point play? Three point play? <laughs> well, nag-miss na yung isa. So I don't know how that's gonna, oh. how that's gonna go. Pwede yan, di ba? Pag-review, pag na-miss yung call, ibibigay yung two points. Well, that's... Ganun dapat yun, no? Pero hindi ko alam pa paano yung mechanics dahil nga natawagan na ng foul at tumira na ng free throw. Naka-isa na. Para umpisa ng ating second half, si Troy Rosario. Nine point lead for San Miguel. Alex Cabagdo, June Marfarado, McCullough, Pesumal, and Roth. They throw it away. Jones... Castro Pogoy Rosario Trolliano naman ang para sa TNT. Kick out to TJ. He had a three to start the first half. Trolliano almost had another offensive rebound. Ross, sinantay ang kanyang mga kampi. Set up for Pesumal. And almost uh, everyone surprised he missed it. Thing is, you have that confidence sa pagkatan dyan si Junmar sa loob. Well, Junmar Pahardo, he's been scoring for his team. Seven points in the first quarter. And he got a lot of those off those second chance points. So, Jun Marfardo, yung pa, pananganaka lang, pa, pa tempo tempo lang dito, pa puesto puesto lang dyan. Still making an impact because of who he is and the presence he commands. Trying to go underneath. Castro to Troy, Nagawa. Jun Mar completes it. Here comes San Miguel. Ross left it for Alex. Swing to McCullough. Rolled out, tapika ng bola, Castro tracks it down. And really, TNT have to level up its energy in the second half. But they really gotta start running. They gotta, you know, show their athleticism once again. Be able to spread out that oh. floor, get the ball to Terrence Jones in the middle and him to create. But the three-point shooting kasi na TNT, you know, we haven't seen a game dito sa seryeng ito na mapapa field goal shooting, ha? na hindi po mapasok yung mga tira. And it's happening right now, because that's uh, two more misses for them. Dito na sa second half to add on to the 25. Ano, ano sila kanina? 4 of 25. Diba? Oh. So now 4 of 27 na sila. Tsaka Charlie, ilan yung ilang games dito sa sering ito below 100? Dalawa lang eh. Yeah. And they were in the 95s, 99s. Diba? So yun eh. Well, check out this uh, play a while ago. Yung putback ni Junmar. Be the move. Atin sa atin ng Davies. MCS semi-gloss. Matipid, colorful, at semi-gloss. We've been treated, treated to an offensive... Uh, type of a game or series rather that's right game number five was 94 to 99 game number four was 106 to 101 game number three was 115 to 105 yun ang sinasabi ko yung spread pag mas malaki TNT ang nanalo oo tapos yung game number two alam naman natin double overtime yun 127 to 125 and then the game number one was 109 to 96 so the lowest that any team has scored in this series has been 94. And uh, well, nanganganib yan, no? Dahil yung TNT, nasa 36 pa lamang. Two minutes into the second half. And McCullough adds on to the lead of San Miguel Beer. It's now at a Baker of Dozen, 49 to 36. Bukod sa walang aircon dito sa Big Dome, uh, yung scoreboard, doon sa big cube sa gitna, eh, medyo naglolo rin. So, paminsan-minsan, eh, hindi natin may spot kung ano yung score. So, we need to check the monitor. So, please bear with us. Junmar Fajardo called for a personal on the basket inside by Terrence Jones. Medyo namuwersa na si TJ sa loob. At yung play na yan, ang uh, walang bibitaw move ng half. Atin sa atin ang Castrol Active para patuloy-tuloy ng proteksyon ng inyong motorsiklo. Walang bibitaw sa Castrol Active, but as great as this player is, his skills are such a, a high level. Problema, yung free throw shooting. Ayaw pa rin pumasok. And I'm sure he practices that you know, in, the, in the in between game days and on the game day itself. But it, it just doesn't work. Pero ibarin kasi, alam mo, 48 minutes yung linalaro mo, so napakagod ka din eh. 
So, iba yung nag-free throw shooting. And it's free throw shooting. It wasn't that bad at the start of the conference, eh, di ba? Hindi siya magaling na free throw shooter, pero hindi ganito kasama. Yes. Nung umpisa. Even the offense of TNT still not clicking. Alam mo yung mga pasa nila, na usually they're able to connect off that pick and roll. Castro, a little bit too strong to Troy Rosario. McCullough baseline drive. Ayan na naman si Jun Mar. Apat ang nag-convert sa kanya at may matatawagan ng foul na nakabuti. Which one? Terrence Jones, his third. That's his third personal two for the TNT Kakawa. Shooting two, he's in the green. He'll just keep it in. Pailing-iling na lang ang kanyang ginawa. Good mark, half basket na naman. Half free throw na naman. Caruela back in the game. Trolliano, you know, the hustle has been there para kay Don Trolliano, but those baskets that he's been making, wala dyan. Yung mga offensive rebounds, he hasn't been able to control them the way he did early on sa serie. And look at the free throws. Ang dami ng, ang laki ng disparity, no? Kung titinan mo, yung mga free throws kung magkabila ko ba ng San Miguel at the edge over there. We'll turn you over to Carla. Sa halftime huddle ng TNT Katropa, Coach Mark Dekel addressed their outside shooting struggles in the first half, encouraging them to keep on taking the shots when they have those good looks. Dapat hindi bumababa yung kumpiyansa nila sa opensa. He also reminded them to focus and remain composed here in the second half kasi so far, parang laro nila, hindi pa nila mapakita that this is a do-or-die game. That is the composure that he wants to see from the team here in the second half. Gentlemen? Well, you know, it's easy to say na keep your confidence going, eh? Inevitably, that confidence will really dip. And on the other side, effort from Chris McCullough. Put back by Sakanya. He's a good look at the back. Then San Miguel. And that was a front row best move. Brought to us by Front Row, official health, beauty, and wellness partner of the PBA. Ito na ang pinakamalaking lamang ng San Miguel Beer sa laban na ito. It's a 15-point spread right now. TNT continues to struggle from the field. Unable to hit baskets. They haven't gone to the line. They haven't even gone to the line. No free throws actually in the first, uh, in the second quarter for both teams. But Terrence Jones has attempted to here, missed them. Ito naman San Miguel, 9 of 12 in the first quarter. Jones na naman ang kanilang pinuntahan. Pinutubukan niya dumiskarte. He loops it over to him. Finally gets another field goal. They needed that badly. Konti-konti. Kinakailangan. You know, chop down this lead little by little. It's gonna be a grind it out type of a ball game for TNT, at least in the in the first three quarters. Well, objective nila rito is may babaan na bang bago matapos ito ng third quarter. Try to be close. Maybe grab the lead if you can, but yung mga ganyan rin si Chris Makala. He's just falling over. He's just shooting over Brian Haruela. That's 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 an easy matchup for him. He's been overlooked, no use skills, yeah. But uh, late then, dumating sa ating conference because Charles Rhodes played their first many games. But you know, after a two niya. and six start, yeah, the he was able to get San Miguel to five and six and all the way up to the finals. What a great job by Chris McCullough. Tend to shoot part of the TNT. Terrence Jones, who's super booked, na manan tres. Eyo, nakuha na yao lek. Bangat ito. Terrence Jones, na laban ito. That's a three brought to us by Tres. Have a slightly boarded brandy from Spain. That's a point lead. Rosario trying to control McCullough. McCullough trying to create. Step back. That's short. And Rosario can't control the rebound. Ayan eh. Diyan ba? Diyan mo makikita na talaga na not in sync itong TNT in today's ballgame. Getting of the passes, getting of the rebounds, the timing is off. Ito si Kabagnon. Bantay sarado kay Eruela pero bumaba kay Jude Marr. Jude Marr tried to fish a foul. Pinakayaan na ni Jones. Kaya tatang lang yung pancha. The short, the little shot at the end. And that's going to be number four on Terrence Jones. 
You know, San Miguel has been solid all throughout the first five games. They've been fighting all the way. Ito yung pa-baseline spin. May konting tulak. Champion energy move of the half brought to us by Milo. Energy to build champions. Junmar with the basket. Bonus free throw on the way. And already 12 points for the five-time MVP. Pinawi yung tres. Di Terrence Jones. Nakakuha pa ng foul. Apat na foul na ito si Terrence Jones. He has to watch it. Take care of that. Now he'll get a foul. But he goes to the line. And if you're San Miguel, you're content with that. Kailangan patunayan ni Terrence Jones na kaya niya maka-score mula dyan sa 4.5 meter. And kung hindi, doesn't really matter to San Miguel. They, they need have something positive. Bench. They can waste fouls on him. Send him to the line. Yeah, you're talking of TNT. They need something positive. They need somebody from that bench to turn things around. Maybe a guy like Harvey Carey. 0-4 so far for TNT. Things have not been going well for TNT all throughout this ball game. Wow, that was almost an air ball mula kay Terrence Jones. Di ba yung tinatawag na flat? Diba? Flat yung uh, nangyayari dito sa TNT. What a time para mangyari yun, ano? Sabagkat, so, uh, yun na nga, do or die para sa kanila ang laban. And then, of course, if you're something that you were expecting TNT to come out swinging, which they did, no? No first period, but since then, it's been all something that. Yung Yusuf Tahan na naman na naka-assign kay Junmar Pahato. He's got three fouls of his own. Junmar mishandles. Saves it to the wrong guy. Pogoy is there. He'll go ahead to Jones. Ross will try to interfere. Sees it away! He anticipated it perfectly. Ross to Makala. Basket is going to transition. Something that is rolling. Well, they're doing it both ends of the floor. They're playing good defense on one end. And on the other end, they're able to score. TNT so far, only nine points. Dito sa third quarter, at halos karahati na ang uh, minuto dito sa third quarter. Troy. Well, they're still trying to get it in bunches of three. I'm not certain if that's the right strategy, but you know who, are, who am I to ask that? You know, when you think about it, they've been living and dying with that three-point shot, and it's been good to them. For their time today, but he's now holding for the camera. Cross! Hey! Three! 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 Loving Sham, 63 to 44, San Miguel in full and complete control of this third quarter of this game number six. There's that basket in transition, Malaki Chris McCullough, the kick out from the big man to the point guard who said, who they said couldn't shoot threes. Well, Chris Ross, finals Ross, is the best Ross. Well, Chris McCullough just kicked the ball out of bounds, so it's still with TNT, 5.34 remaining in the third period. Uh, gives us a chance to turn it over to Carla. Charlie and Dom, Mark De Coach Mark Deco continues to encourage the outside shot. Sinasabi niya sa team, we will get our run. Just stick to what you're doing. Isang bakit lang yan, magsusunod-sunod yan. He also reminded them that they have to keep playing with their heads up. Dapat, now that they're down, positive pa rin yung body language nila if they want to get back in this game. Back to you guys. Thanks a lot for that, Carla. Well, kailangan talaga stay positive, no? Um, Here's you know, it. Ang hirap na kanilang sitwasyon ngayon, Dom. They're down big. Second half already in a do-or-die kind of ball game. You can't hang your heads. You just need to keep playing. But Charlie, your biggest weapon, which has been the three-point shot all throughout this conference, you've been successful with it. It's brought you all the way here. He wants to stick with it. And rightly so. That's right. You look at the numbers, they've been doing that. But you look at how they changed it the past two plays. First they scored, they attacked the aggressive. Second play, played good defense. Attacked the defense once again. Off of San Miguel, look at that great block by Yusef Tahan and Bogoy all the way for the finish. And Coach Leo Oslia feeling that there is a little bit of a run, calling a timeout. 
Well, this is the 2019 Honda PBA Commissioner's Cup brought to us by Honda, the official motorcycle of the PBA. Four quick points, Pulasa TNT. Cut the 19-point lead down to 15, and as Dom said, time out again to Coach Leo. Baka medyo naramdaman niya, nagsiswing na yung momentum patungo sa TNT. Pigilin na agad yan. Charlie, alam niya yung nangyari sa kanila or ginawa nila sa TNT last game. Oh. Diba? In the fourth quarter. Jet, jet in the house. Retired PBA player, oh. Jet Mato. Oh. Diba? Nakaritino Engineer. na agad. Diba? Engineer. Engineer. Oh, Stonto, nandito rin. Nakasiglay niya. Nahanap si Tres Umal. Nothing there. A chance to continue the run. TNT, Castro, Pagoy! Out of bounds and the pass was off target. And that's not the first pass for Castro, huh? That he hasn't been on point. So, you know, this is what we were talking about. Possibly fatigue, possibly, uh, you know, mentally, it is they, they are tired. Offensive foul against the San Miguel BMN. So the brakes, you know, right now are going TNT's way. Can they take advantage? They did two batteries in a row. Then they threw it away. Pakapat na foul ni Junmar Fajardo yan. So that could be a foul for the Edison. Good call by the referees. They caught it. They caught it. May mga kaibigan tayo, of course, all over the country. Pag bumapiyahe ang... PBA, just some uh, out of town games, not then uh, on tour on the weekends. And the mayor Mark Cagas of Vigos is watching right now. I hope that I can many times. The mayor, salamat sa yung mapadulo na panunod the PBA. Castro, scores a six in a row. Para sa TNT. We gotta remember Jason Castro, skip playing for Gilas, be able to get a championship. That's Here for TNT, That's good block by Terrence Jones. They pick it up. So ito, kailangan ng numero rito. The white shirt needs to come down. Good boy. And look at the coaching staff of TNT. Still applauding that. That was a wide open shot. Again, these are the shots that they usually uh, make. To the fact TNT, I want to see Terrence Jones applauding that because after misses such as that, it seems parang nawawalan siya ng gana. And Terrence Jones, he's not there in the picture. Castro fighting. Gets it to go! And they go to the CS! Such a heads up play para kay Jason Castro. Boy he knew that na Apituhan took that shot. And the bigger thing there is that's the fourth foul of Christian Stan Hardinger. Panoorin natin ito, ha? Nagbintif, tas sinundan niya. May foul, init siya. Pasok, lakas mo. Batid sa atin ang new Cobra Vitamin C. Lakas at protection. Cobra, number one energy drink. Bonus free throw. Pasok para kay Castro. Ang lamang, labing dalawa na lang. Well, you know, we were mentioning it. You want to make it a more manageable lead. Bago matawa sa third quarter. Well, do dose pa rin yan. Ngunit, uh, Karina, eh, labing sap na. Oh, pwede na ang sagot naman. Chris! Oh. Hey, this guy is stepping it up. Chico Laredo likes it. Uh, Charlie, 11 points for McCullough here in the third quarter when TNT is trying to make a run. Balik sa labing lima. Taha against Ross. He'll try to power his way to the hoop. Get, oh! Na, na habol ni McCullough. I was gonna say he got position already, but McCullough was there to help. Good help defense. Nakin, tama naman yung ginawa ni Taha eh. Yeah, hindi siya nagpadali because he had the advantage against the smaller guys. Pogoy. He's got Troy. He's got Terrence. Oh, that's Terrence! Slamming it all into the miss! Kakasabita naman itong dalawa in the backcourt. Ross and Jones. And the referees wisely just let them part ways. Stan Hardinger kept it alive. Lots of effort plays we're seeing. Deep as a third quarter. Basket from Christian. Foul from Taha. Jubilation in the part of San Miguel Beer. Charlie, remember game number five. Two guys that start in that win for San Miguel. Chris McCullough, Christian Stan Harding. Doing it again here in the third quarter. Making big play after big play defensively, offensively. Baka daw nakakalimutan na magaling umupensa. Si Christian Stan Harding. Nagpakita sa ron siya ang ating most of the game. Brought to us by Abitur. Ito yung mintis. 
Dinakdak naman ni Terrence Jones. He's had a couple of those in this game. Problem is, agad-agad sumagot sa kabila. Mintis ang bonus free throw ni Christian Stan Hardinger. Labing lima pa rin ang lamang ng San Miguel. Three cap throw. Finally! He's beating up though. 11 points now for Jason Castro. Well, very response mula sa TNT rito sa latter part ng third period. TNT trying to surrender. Stan Hardinger finds the baseline. That's just going to be too easy for Stan Hardinger. And that's the gamble that TNT is willing to, to do right now. You know, Stan Hardinger at the post. That's really something they can use. Castro in the lane. Chance for a three-point play by the eight. Jason Castro at the TNT bench of Adam Kumayon at Papa Lagpangan. Ito ang ini-expect ng lahat ng manunod dito oh, sa, sa sagutan sa TV dito sa venue. TNT fans giving it a cheer. SMP fans booing them. There's some gamesmanship going on even in the stands. And Castro, buhay na buhay. 14 puntos for the blur. What a quarter has been. Para dito sa TNT for Jason Castro. 11 points as well for him here in the third. That's right, 11 of his 14. Dito niya ginawa yan. Ross, nagarap ng butas dyan sa ilalim. Kick out game, Terrence Corbio. Ayaw mahulog ang tres. Pagbangan sa rebound. Troy saved it. No, did it. He did it. Couldn't hear the whistle. Pinay ng ating crowd. Paragay ko dito sa venue. We've been mentioning it, you know, earlier if you've been watching. The aircon has been... Not operative. Yeah, yeah. But, mukhang may nabuksan na siguro isa o dalawa. So, medyo lumabig ng konti. Bahagya. Romeo miss. Castro rebound. Ito na. Pwede pa ibaba sa single digits. Pogoy. Fake the three. Attack the basket. Miss it. And then yung barakadin niya. But it's a foul on the rebound play. They're gonna wave off that basket. No basket daw si Troy Rosario. A first and foul on the morning team. Troy Rosario. Well, Pogoy had that little shot fake. Attack the basket but missed the layup. Pogoy, yung momentum eh. Missed that layup. Ayun, ano wala sa kamay niya. You can see it from that angle. Oh, Rosario. That's his fourth personal. Third, rather. Oh, third. Oh, yun yung foul? That push. Oh, that rebound. Wow, okay. McCullough controls. But throws it away. San Miguel naman ngayon ang sunod-sunod na turnover. Fight your way through if you're TNT. Things shifting a little bit already. Hindi pa solid run para sa TNT. The way I see it, pag may dalawang player na nag-collide dyan, mamimili yung referee sino doon sa dalawang may foul. And that play, Troy got that call. Or got it called against him. Castro! Challenge, he was waiting for the whistle. Walang dumating. Ito na SMB. Arwin Santos, binigay kay Christian. Ayaw pumasok, nakuha niya ulit, one more time! Wow, Christian Stan Hardinger. What a quarter for him. Wow. Eight points for Stan Hardinger. Hindi madali yung mga tira niya. Not at all. In traffic, with challenges. But that's his kind of game. Yung kanyang unorthodox style. Na medyo walang balance. Iisa lang yung tira niya eh. Iisa lang niya. Di ba? He on that one leg, but so effective. Terrence Jones to the hoop. Terrence Jones! Terrence Jones played that perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Took the contact but did not push off or was never... Hindi sobra yung fuerza oh. niya, diba? Okay, 11. A second to go, may pito. Second and nine. Follow number 18, Troy Rosario is for 15 for TNT. Pangapat ni Troy yun, Dom. So that's big because... There's a full quarter remaining. They're going to put in David Semerad. Para lang sa panigurado, si Casino ipapasok din. Ilalabas si Castro. Quick release, Supalpal. 
guy Terrence loves Jones. Terrence Jones challenging that. Even if Jones, Terrence Jones actually did four personal fouls already, but not wanting to give up that shot. Well, Quento in the third quarter has to be Christian. Stan Hardinger got an effort, especially on offense. Stan Hardinger, 14 points, six rebounds in 14 minutes. That's right. What a game so far for Christian Stan Hardinger. And his shots have not been easy. Again, playing both ends of the floor, protecting that ball, keeping it alive, wanting to win another championship. This quarter is brought to you by Union Bay, the official game partner in the Pacific. We're going to start the fourth and final quarter in Game 6, brought to us by New Cobra Vitamin C. Lakas at Protection Cobra, the number one energy drink. Could this be the last quarter of the Commissioner's Cup? San Miguel wants it to be. Quick three, bounces long, nakuha ni Castroyan. Despite all that happened in the third quarter, lamang pa rin ang one point. Ang San Miguel doon, outscoring DSD. Charlie, interestingly enough, game number five has an 11 point lead at the start of the third by TNT. Ngayon naman, balik tanyan. Yeah. So anything can happen right now with that jam. Wala kay Terrence Jones, his third of the game. Or his fourth of the game, actually. Down to just a single digit lead. Chris Ross. Baseline drive. He got the first step. First <laughs> You know, Chris Ross, you can never, ever again criticize yung kanyang opensa. He can take it to the rack, he can hit threes, get it in transition. Here's a play a while ago from Jones to Jam. Be the move brought up by Davis MC as semi gloss, but he did call it full of semi gloss. Castro, Tyson Jones. We haven't seen too much of Terrence Jones on top, creating for TNT. It takes too long sometimes to get the ball to him. So Castro tries to create. He goes up. Off the glass. Nothing there. Troy kept it alive. Run it. Now Ubusa na ng oras. That's the end. Solid defense once again by the San Miguel Beer Men. San Miguel shooting 42% from the field in the third. 44 naman para sa TNT Katropa. Alam mo, Dom, na-observe ko yung bench ng SMB in between quarters. And I just realized we haven't even mentioned it. You know, we mentioned all the guys who are absent for TNT. Mm -hmm. Marshall Lasseter has not played in this series. And, uh, you know, you know, imagine if he was there, what else he could do about a San Miguel Beer. June Mar to the hoop. Dina Makuayo, pero offensive rebound, kabatot. And Eruela was grappling with him from behind. He probably did have his hands on the leather. But they're going to call a foul on Eruela because he had his arms around the head of Alex Kabakos. Let's watch it. Ito, you know? Yun, hawak niya, yo. Hawak niya. Pero hawak-hawak din yung buka daw ni Alex Kabakos. So, that's a foul. Nice try. Good effort. Good effort. McCullough Jones inside the June mark. Kick to Terrence. Terrence baseline. Turn. Shoot. Basket. Points once yep. again for the San Miguel Beer Men. Trying to go deep to Jumar Pardo. Pajardo not seeing that he has the advantage. Kicked it out to Romeo. Romeo driving down that baseline. Getting the two points. Parang ilang saglit lang ang nakaraan eh. Mula nung 9 na lang ang laman. Biglang na ulit sa 13. Biglang ngayon 11. Alam mo yung puntos kasi nitong TNT. Parang hirap na hirap eh. Diba talagang trabaho ang trabaho. Ibang level ng struggle. This probably the... Most difficult uh, game offensively. Oh, they're only shooting 34% from the field. Junmar always. What an option to have. You know? And they're going to call a violation on the inbound. Oh, and that's just a mental lapse of yes. And you can't Our afford player. those. You can't afford those. Well, you know, that's the best player of the conference. And he's played well today. Pero, yung error na yun, good cost. Miss on the free and Troy this time had good possession, uh, positioning sa ilalim. Para makuha niya yung board. 9 and 15. 
Castro to Pogoy. Still won't fall. If Toliano versus Jumai underneath, it's a no contest. And there are what? Three, four guys from San Miguel trying to get a defensive rebound. Only one guy from TNT. Yeah. yeah. Sumubo pa gamble na iwanan ang bukas si Terrence. Nauna pa sa ulit sa bola. Does TNT have enough gas in their tanks to be able to fight against the San Miguel Beermen? They've come out flat in the first two quarters, made some headway in the third. But here in the fourth, San Miguel again asserting themselves nine points so far in this quarter. TNT only with four. Troliano trapped in the backcourt. They almost threw it away. They did. Now moves in the order. Sabatoni coming out of a timeout after a San Miguel run stretched the lead back to 16 points. San Miguel is looking good here in the fourth. Put it in 39 by Milanovic. Troliano not having a good game. Yeah. Just two points for Troliano. But it was a revelation in the first four games of that thing series. Putting up numbers, scoring and rebounding wise. Pero hindi naman kasi sa talaga isa sa main man, but he's dropped into that position because of the missing personnel. Jones reached it in, they tapped it away, ahead to Pogoy. Foul from Kabagnon. But Terrence Jones looks like he got hit there. And June Marfa Harder was going hard for that post-up play. That's his third. That's the first bomb. It's coming here. Dito sa pangalawa. Mga tumama dun sa ulo. Itong si June Mar Pajardo. He's gonna crumple, no? He's gonna go down. He was checking kung may dugo, eh, no? Parang meron, eh. Meron ba? Oh, meron niya. Meron niya. You're right. Mga nakagat na yung dila niya siguro. Or tumama yung labi niya. It's an ipin. And they're going to have to stop that bleeding. That's the thing. So, kanilang PT na si Dex Aceron process the court to check it out. They say play on. I think the referees have given the go signal to ice now. Of course, if they see it continuing a little later on, they're going to whistle and stop the action. Okay, late in the game, kilalaanin natin ang mga beautiful chummy. Pwede kang manalo ng exciting prizes at Chumps Live. So download Chumps Live for free now. Available in the Google or Apple Store. Castro! Reverse underneath. Castro! You know that there's some fight left dito sa TNT at susamukan nila ito. With 8.04 to me. You gotta go down swinging. Oh yeah. Right? You gotta go down swinging if you're TNT. Yes. You should. Ang ganda ng conference nila eh. Oh, but San Miguel here. Oh, they're gonna call a foul on DNP underneath. And that may be on Terrence Jones. That is fifth. I don't know. Now reach and foul by Terrence Jones. You know, sometimes you get surprised because they allow a lot of contact in the bumping. Yeah. And then the referees will call a reach in. That's right. Well. Well, that's five on Terrence Jones. McCullough. Last touch, Junmar Fajardo, and there was contact right there. But no whistle. A 14 point lead if you're TNT. You're staring up this. And there's 7 and 41 left. Your game hasn't been going well uh, in this entire, what, uh, first four and a half quarters. You got to be able to keep on doing it. Just keep on pushing. Try to go to Jones once again. He's got to be careful. Baka mag-offensive foul na naman siya. Maubos na yung kanyang allotted number of fouls. Then they go back out. 
Eruela in with it. That's his kind of shot. He's not the guy who did the overthrow. Kick it to him. He can make it. And San Miguel was giving him that shot. They know he's the lowest percentage shooter in terms of three-point shooting for TNT. So you want him to take that shot. Go TNT naman. Pumasok. You'll cheer it on. That's right. Well, he showed the ability to make that in the back. Oh, Zuma all alone. Oh, that was, that was Stayed away from the foul. Everybody waiting for us, Pito. The Maruja say you're fast with their own job, but even fans are up in arms right now. Because you know, Bezzi is happy that he put the Junmar. Bogoy open from three. Just won't fall for our arms again, Michael. Right Hasn't been his night. 13 points night, but... for, T for uh, RR Bogoy. And now you see Leo Austria. And very, I don't know, very few times that Pinu put the hand in the door for our new referee. And that's the reclamation on that side. That was a good block by Terrence Jones. This is the second one. Six minutes and 25 remaining in the fourth and final quarter of game number six, San Miguel Beer. Every time they need a big basket, Chris McCullough has been coming through for San Miguel. They've been able, able to ward off anything that TNT is throwing at them. Eruela, Susubo. Oh, he got the step on his, on his body. And these guys need to be aggressive. You know, you got kumbaga gagawa ka na ng paraan eh, because the normal things are not working. What a move, Kula Kairuela. Took the layup, took the contact, will take a free throw. That's a dream move brought to us by Honda, the official motorcycle of the PBA. Kairuela has won championships in the past together with the San Miguel Beer Man. And would like over. to win one yeah. with TNT as well. They're the first one. Just past the halfway mark. The Ating fourth quarter. Eruela nakabantake McCullough. What a matchup. They want to push out Chris McCullough. They want him to shoot from the outside and just shoot over. Oh! Junma was able to sneak <laughs> on that baseline. Because you're so focused on helping out Brian Eruela. On Chris McCullough, nakalimutan itong si Junmar. And McCullough has the ability, no? And Junmar, because of his great, kung gano'n kataas yung kanyang basketball IQ, at sa dami ng kampiyonato, yes! alam niya yung kinakailangan gawin to react to the defense. Quick two by Terrence Jones on the approach. Still manageable, 10 point lead. Yep. Keep out of the woods itong San Miguel Beer, but Eruela is caught wrestling with McCullough. Pero ang hirap kasi ng sitwasyon ni Brian Arwen. Ano gagawin mo eh? Ang laki! Isang, isang ulo yung isang... Well, Mabot pa siya sa balika? Oh, di ba nga yata eh. Well, that's the tough man of the hour. This is brought to us by Powerhouse. Built tough! Uh, di ba? Flex, flex ka dyan. Iyan ang mga kaibigan ni Attorney Charlie Kuna. Sino? Yung mga... <laughs> Sana, pwede. Mga siga eh. Ang respect natin yung mga yan. Mga siga din eh. Underneath to Christian. Ah! Might have traveled before that. For sure, no for sure. basket made. So, you know, that's the thing. If it's not called, you can continue playing. And he did. What a big game by the big men of Castro. San Miguel. Yep. Throw it. Oh, the three pointer. Seven of 36. Christian. San Miguel Beer. San Miguel just continuing to chug along. Stan Hardinger again making difficult shots. Every time San Miguel needs points, Stan Hardinger, McCullough, Stan Hardinger again putting the two. Stan Hardinger easy points now beating everybody 
down that floor, 14 point lead. Susubok pa rin ang TNT, makahabol rito. 4 minutes and 38 na lang ang nalalabi. Labing apat ang kanilang hinahabol, Terrence Jones. Kumukuha ng uh, foul sana kontra kay Jun. Well, the referees have been consistent there. Kanina hindi rin naman nila tinatawagan yung kay Jun Marco Hardo eh. Oh, and Castro, really out of frustration. Para mapigil lang yung action. At makapagreklamo sa referee, he gave up another foul. Because here's what happened. Terrence Jones got some contact, but referees felt it wasn't enough. McCullough was spin. San Miguel wants to have some beer after this game. They're going to pour it over each other. They're going to pour it over whoever for ESPN 5. If they win, 4.15 to go, and they're looking good. Well, Stan Hardinger has definitely been able to take control of games five and six. Mm -hmm. Defensively, he's got him to TNT. This is that bump by Jason Castro. That was frustration because Jason felt Terrence Jones got fouled in the previous play. Yeah, and of course, Stan Hardinger played it up. And I'm not really sure if he can really fly that far. Si Castro yung bumangkasin. Pero matigas din kasi to si Jason Castro. We know how sturdy Stan Hardinger is. Yeah. You do what you must. Labing anim. Castro susubok agawan. Reach in na naman kay Castro. And how many is that? That's six. Castro's out. Castro's out. The best player of the conference heads to the bench. He won't be on the floor to finish this ball game. And that was three straight calls. He just basically took himself out of the game. Well, definitely showing his frustration there. I don't see Jason Castro. Been a tough night. It's been a tough night for Jason and TNT. We had that stretch and he was hitting baskets. Another miss, Jones. They try to go all the way once again. Tak tak na naman para kay Terrence. Terrence Jones. Problema ang oras. Fourteen points, still doable. However, TNT has not been able to knock down threes. Look at all the jostling for position. Teruela, agawan si Makala, and Makala hangs on to him. Foul number six, Chris McCall. Third team foul of San Miguel, and third also personal foul para dito sa San Miguel. Ito yon. He got a clean steal, and on the way down, he natak sa ni Chris McCall. No questions there. No complaints either. Let's see what type of run TNT has in them. Terrence Jones, who's up for the man. Look at the basket. They fouled to Chris McCullough. He gave that one up. But Terrence Jones is trying his best. Now, Mama Mana, you don't see Terrence Jones. But the free throw line has not been kind to them. Hey, that's our fresh face of the day. Run run by Waterhouse. Keeps you fresh. Sa linya na naman si Terrence Jones, hindi niya paboritong pwesto yan. Ngunit napasok niya yung una ng dalawa. Ito naman ang ating face of the game, brought to us by Front Row International's Lux, International's Lux White Enhanced Lita Tayon. The supplement worthy in the big league. Lux White skin so bright only at Front Row. Thirteen, ang lamang. SMB trying to hang on. Wanting to put this away and get gem number two. Of oh, this good defense that time. Season. But the, San Miguel will retain possession. And what are the guys in white complaining about on the other side? Timeout, San Miguel Goodman. 
I want to know, kasi may sinasabi. Anyway, time out from Santa Gilbert. We're trying to find out what that's all about. Sabi mo babalik. Jimmy A, glory days with TND, but now sitting behind the bench of the San Miguel Beer Man. Ito si Terrence Jones, naging best import sa ating torneo. Nilapitan sa bago mag-umpisa ang nilaro. Si Arwin Santos at sinabi niya, no problem. And look at that knockout play. Ang ganda ng timeout nitong San Miguel. Coming off that timeout, well-executed play. Off that timeout. It's been tough for, for Terrence Jones. Grabe yung coverage sa kanya. Lots of physicality against him, of course. Still gets his numbers, but yeah. every game, I think, Dom, mula nung unang laro, uh, into this, what could be their last game, got harder and harder for him. Definitely, you know, he tried different types of defenses kung ikaw ang San Miguel. The first game had, what, four or five guys changing up on him. And just miscommunication that time on the defensive end. Para dito sa TNT, easy two para sa San Miguel. Jeff, the 12-point lead, ngunit ang oras. Paubos na. 2.47 na natitira sa ating laban, sa ating serie, maybe, sa ating konferensya. They're gonna have to dig really deep within. And they're doing it without Jason Castro, who fouled out a while ago. Romeo, long three, bounces right to McCullough. And McCullough will attack once again. 33 points for the San Miguel import. Five offensive rebounds, seven defensive rebounds, so 33 and 12 for him. Yeah, the youngster's doing it. He's just 24 years old, but the skill level, especially in scoring the basketball, Matas. Terrence Jones, and he draws a foul. That's a reach in from Stan Hardinger. That's gonna be his sixth oh, yeah, personal out. foul. He's out but he's done his job. Exactly. Quality minutes. Oh, definitely. Hustle plays, kept the ball alive, played great defense sa kabilang panig. At Charlie, ito yung hahabol itong TNT. And then you stand harding or making back-to-back -back baskets to keep that distance. Ito yung nakakaano doon eh. Nawala nang asistanda Hardinger, napa-foul out mo. Sino pinasok para sa kanya? Di Jude Mar. Jude Mar sa hard lock naman. Well, you talk about bench depth. That's what we were saying that's been the advantage of San Miguel. Not just for against TNT, but against any team. What's deeper than depth? You know, and this coach Bong Ravs. Say, yun nga, sinasabi natin. I don't know if he said it himself, but people are saying, di siya mag-aay taga mag-champion. I don't know what's going to happen. If they don't win it, and it's looking bleak for the TNT. Timeout is called. The rebound play name because he's not even. So Jun Mar Fajardo. At mukang with two minutes and two remaining. Something else is on its way. I think we can safely say it. To gem number two nga sa sa season na ito. Sa grand slam ang kanilang ina sa masam. Sino buhay nila kasi five straight all Filipinos na. They've won the, Gover uh, the, the Governor's Cup a couple of times. The Governor's Cup has been elusive for us. Well, look at the numbers of the big men of San Miguel. Jumar, 18 points, 12 rebounds. Christian Stan Hardinger, 18 points, 6 rebounds. You know, they've figured out a way to use both guys effectively. Jumar, you know he's going to score. You know what he's going to do. But I feel this series, they've unleashed a different Christian Stan Hardinger. A guy who can play full court defense. A guy who can really limit the production. And ma-iba yung uh, tingin and uh, ng import ng TNT na si Terrence Jones. Well, everyone, the main is on tour live on September 14th at the new Frontier Theater. Bring your tickets now at www.ticket.com.ph. A 13-point lead by the San Miguel Beerman. Two minutes left. There's still a lot of time. But because of how the game has been going, it seems like TNT is going to be difficult. That's right. Last two minutes na nga tayo. Tips natin ang new Cobra Vitamin C. Lakas at protection. Cobra ang number one energy break. Romeo crossed him over. Fake pass. Lay up. And now they're playing around. Ten points for Terrence Romeo. You know, if you talk about San Miguel, you talk about TNT also, for a time to be able to shoot blanks from the three-point 
three-point area. Only 84 points so far. Lowest scoring output the entire six-game series. And still, hindi pa rin makashoot sa three points itong TNT. Kapagsasayin mo ng oras ng San Miguel Bure, alam na nila na sila ang magiging champion ng Commissioner's Cup 2019. You talk about championship experience. Doing what needs to be done. San Miguel, their bench, the guys that were called upon, have answered Stan Hardinger, Romeo, Von Pesomal, Jude Marfajardo, always solid. Chris Ross as well, and Kabag not solid. Another revelation. Their import, Chris McCullough wanting a championship, not getting the best import, but wanting a chip. Troy Rosario coming in for Terrence Jones, and Jones doesn't want to step out. Terrence Jones coming in for Troy Rosario. Oh, Terrence Jones coming in for Troy. Well, there was a mix-up. So, up. yes, there's yeah. a mix-up with the Barker. Mix-up with the yeah, venue announcer saying the wrong thing, and Jones knew it. Why are you going to take me out? Another dunk for Terrence Jones. Terrence Jones! So this is probably the most number of dunks he's had in a game in this uh, conference, but... 37 points for Terrence Jones. Yeah, but it's these guys. Until uh, we see three straight wins after being done one and two in the series. That's going to be three straight for us here, man. And championship, championship experience, you know, we keep talking about it. Ang hirap kasi matawaran yun, eh. You know, knowing what to do, even when things aren't going well for you, you keep on fighting through. Can you go back to game number five. They were down by 16 points in the fourth quarter. They made things happen. They did things. They played defense. They forced turnovers and were able to score. TNT, this game, I felt where they were not able to get over the calls or the non-calls against them. You know, when this is all said and done, since they're, going, they're about to win another championship, you know, where does Coach Leo Ophir rank among all-time great coaches? So dami ng kampionato na nakuha na yari to San Miguel Beer. Because with 44 seconds and a 15-point lead, it's, it's all she wrote. And yet another gem for him. He's had a bunch of all Filipinos. And but Charlie qualifying seventh. Itong San Miguel, yeah. diba? All the way two. from the down, from the from the bottom. They had to win two against Northport. Went through a semifinal round, dominated there, and then they beat Northport. They had to beat Northport twice, uh -huh. and then in the semifinals, flexing their muscles, and things really started to change when they changed their import. You gotta give credit to that big decision. That was a tough decision. They won a championship with Charles Rhodes. You know, it's si Pogoy and si Romeo. Talagang, oh, there seems to be really some animosity between these two. Because uh, but they, were, they were even mouthing some words at each other. I thought they were gonna already, you know, acknowledge that the game was over, but... Jones. Jones has 41 points, but it's all for naught. The San Miguel Beer is about to be crowned. Commissioner's Cup champion. The Beermen are the one, the last team standing yet again. Oh, what a performance once again by the San Miguel Beermen. 12-point win by the Beermen. Their second place trophy, but the Beermen, iba talaga may pinagsamahan ko. Oh, San Miguel, 2-5 and five start this conference. It was tough for them. They replaced Charles Rhodes after seven games, and this is where things, this is where they turned the corner. Chris McCullough, positivity bringing them. They were able to get the outside shooting from Chris McCullough. They needed that. They defeat now TNT in the finals. 27th PBA title, most in PBA, in PBA history. It's come to a close of the PBA here on ESPN. Uh, first of all, Allow me to congratulate uh, Coach Bong Rabena and the entire Talk and Text team for a wonderful job they've done. They bring us, they bring the best out of us, guys. And 
We never thought that we will be in the finals at the start of the conference. But, you know, we're so fortunate and we're able to, to win this championship. And this championship will not happen if not for the support of a lot of people, especially Boss Danding Kuhanko, uh, Boss Ramon Esang, our athletic director, uh, Coach Al Francis Chua. Now, every day during the playoffs, he's with us almost every day. He's calling me to assess what's really happening in our team. A good help uh, from our sports director, boss. And of course, our governor, Sir Robert Nunn, our manager, uh, Coach G, assistant manager, Don B, the ball boys, the utility, the PT, the support staff, but most of all, our coaching staff and the players. Now they know their roles. Kumbakit before they're wondering, bakit ganito ako magpasok ng tao? But now, nagmumukhang magaling na naman ako. <laughs> but of course, gusto kong pasalamatan yung mga sumusuport sa akin, lalo na yung mga kababayan ko sa Quezon, sa Sariaya, Quezon, sa village namin, Capital Parks Home, Capital Homes, Apilam Village, South Chembo, my sister, but of course, my advisor, Dr. Tony Liachon, Paring Oka, Arvin Santos, and of course, my family, Nanette, Bacon, Jed, and Leia. I love you guys. I love you. But, ang lahat ng ito ay hindi may isa kakutuparan kung wala ang mga fans. Lalo na yung San Miguel Beer fans. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Para sa kanila, go. Oh, what a game by the San Miguel Beer men. Things really turned around for them in game number five in that fourth quarter. And they continued on. Even when things were happening off the court, Arwin Santos apologizing there to Terrence Jones. Terrence Jones, you know, obviously that what happened in game number five, everybody was expecting him to be fueled even more yeah. here in uh, game number six. However, it didn't seem like uh, Terrence Jones, you know, seemed like he was a little bit tired all the way from the start of this ball game. But San Miguel, you know, wasn't such a great start for them. Only shot 32% from the field. However, they had eight rebounds and 12 second chance points. That is the big statistic in the first 12 minutes of action. That's why they had a seven point lead. That's right, and they never looked back. They never let go of that lead uh, anymore. Uh, TNT, sumubok ng ilang beses para makalapit. Sinusubukan nilang humabol, but San Miguel was always able to hold them off uh, despite some brilliant plays. Uh, from the import of TNT, Castro had a nice run uh, somewhere along the way as well, but the shooting of TNT was just off. They couldn't hit anything from three-point land, which has been, as you said, isa sa pinakamalaking saldata nila sa conference ng ito. At dahil nga doon, ten-point lead at the half, at uh, nahirapan na sila the rest of the way. In the third quarter, we talked about the defense of San Miguel in the second quarter, only 16 points for TNT. In the third it was Christian Stan Hardinger. TNT trying to make a run, trying to make things happen for them. However, these guys would not give up. Stan Hardinger, every time TNT would come in, Jason Castro knocking down a three-point shot there. Stan Hardinger would get that basketball within the play, just making things happen offensively, doing a good job on the defensive end against Terrence Jones, but offensively also scoring for the Beermen. 11 point lead entering the fourth and final period. So Mubuk for an anti and to try to come closer. They cut it to single digits. Murit Matira Katulat Nyan, Mulaki Stan Hardinger. Chris Ross was finding guys, and Stan Hardinger was finishing. June Marfahardo was puncturing the hoop inside. Umaganya classic Nakao play against a foul ridden Terrence Jones. And then Chris McCall, of course, what a game overall para sa kanya did more than enough to hold off the opposing import who was dominant throughout the conference. And, uh, you know, maybe smart. He didn't get the best import, but he gets the chance. Well, no real rhythm for TNT all throughout this basketball game. 7 of 28 from the three-point area. That's something, you know, they usually want to make about 12, 13, 14 made three-point shots. Lowest scoring output for TNT this entire series. 
credit the beer men, the adjustments that they made, and that championship poise and experience. That is really something that they've gained throughout the years, being able to make the adjustments. You saw that they struggled at the beginning of the conference, but were able to fight through it. They never lost focus. Their focus was to be able to get another championship, keep their dreams and their goals alive of getting a Grand Slam. Rocky Balboa, Chico Lanete flexing there. So that does it for our Commissioner's Cup. Our coverage here on ESPN 5 ends now, but continue to join us here on ESPN 5 as we bring you the FIBA World Cup. We have the Governor's Cup of the PBA season coming up as well, and the Southeast Asian Games. We've got you covered for all those events. For Dom, for Carla, I'm Charlie Guna. Thank you for joining us. You want to see everything going on in the dugout and the post game? Join us on Sports Center.